Implementing authentication and authorization is really important in all of our projects. So, in this tutorial, we implement the login and the register and the other required authentication and authorization mechanism to show you how you can log in and register and how you can control all of the security aspect of your applications. So, let me show you that what you will have in this tutorial. This is a list of users of our website. So, you can see that we have different users and we have roles. For example, we have user, we have manager, we have admin, and also we can have owner. We have different roles and each role can has different access. Let me show you that. For example, the first role is user. Let me show you. For example, this is a user access. Let's use it to log into our website. So I will paste the username and the password and I log in. So after logging, we have access to the slash dashboard. So you can see it if I log out and I try to go to a slash dashboard. So you can see that I don't have access to it and I will be redirected to a slash unauthorized. So that's good. It means that we don't have access to the dashboard without login. Let's try it again. So let's use login and use our username and password again and login. So when we log in, we have access to a slash dashboards and the other page. So you can see that this is a dashboard page and we must have the dashboard access to see this page. And the dashboard access can be an owner or admin or manager or user. And we have some different test page to show you how you can access to the different page based on your role. For example, let's start from here. So the first one is this user page. You can see that it is a slash dashboard, a slash user. And this is a user page. And you must have access to this only if you have the user access. So I am a user. You can see that my username is user6 and my user role is the user so I have access to a slash dashboard a slash user let's test the others for example the next one is manager role where we will be redirected to a slash unauthorized because we don't have access to that page and that's good let's go back to dashboard and test the others for example the admin we don't have access to the admin because we are user that's so good let's test the owner page again we don't have access that's good so these four pages are for the roles and let's test the top ones so we have my logs let's test it this is a page that shows you the logs of your activities for example a new login or a new token or register to the website you can see that we have the date of them and the description of logs of the logged in user which is this user six let me refresh the page and show you that after refreshing you can see that a new token generated a few seconds ago for user six when we refresh our application we will generate a new token and we use it so we will see this log here and that's it so let's this is the slash slash for the slash my logs so let's test the all logs well you can see that this page is not accessible by a user and it is unauthorized that's good let's test the all message well you can see that you don't have access to the requests of the all message that's good the next one is inbox and here you can see that what message you have sent or you have received so you can see that for example for this user which is user 6 we have an output message with text of this and the sender was user 3 and the receiver was user 6 and this is based on the token of the logged in user and we will uh, return the message of the logged in user to the front end let's test the next one so this was the slash dashboard slash inbox the next one is send message well here you can send message to other users for example let's use this is the user six and i choose user one and i say hi user one and i send the message well your message sent successfully and you can see in my inbox which is a slash dashboard in slash inbox that i have a new one a few message a few seconds ago with the type of output and the text is high user one from user six to user one and we are seeing the log of it inside of my inbox so this is it so we have access to the inbox and send message and the last page is user management and you can see that we don't have access to this user management because we are user that's it so let's log out and test another role for example after user we have manager so this user two is a manager let's copy and log in with this user2 and its password well 
The login was successful. Now you can see that I'm user two with role of manager. And again, we have access to a slash dashboard and let's test everything. Do we have access to user page? Yes, because I want my manager to have access to the manager page and the user page. That's good. Let's test the manager page where we have access. Let's test admin. We don't have access. Let's test owner. We don't have access. That's so good. Then let's see my logs. Well, this is the logs. You can see that it is exactly for the logged in user, which is user two. So we can see that what is the time and what is the description of logs. For example, register, user role updated, new login, send message, new login, and send message. Well, that's it. Next, let's see can we have access to all logs? Well, we cannot. Why? Because we must be owner or admin to access this. And no, I'm a manager. So I don't have access to all logs. Let's test all message. Well, we don't have access. That's so good. This is a role based authorization and it's based on my roles. Next thing is inbox. Yeah, everybody can access to the inbox because inbox is, belongs to all users. So here you can see that this inbox is belongs to user two. So here we have some message and user two is either sender or receiver. And that's it. Let's test the send message. Well, here you can see that, for example, from user two, I can send a message to let's search M. Well, this is the uh, username and I say, hi, Mahmoud. And I send, well, you can see that here I have this new, which is a few seconds ago. The text is hi, Mahmoud from user two to Mahmoud user. That's it. So this is the inbox and send message. And also let's test user management. Well, here you can see that we don't have access to it. That's good. Let's log out and test the next role, which is admin. So this user, which is user one, has an admin role. Let's test and see what is the admin role. Let's copy and paste and log in. Well, this time you can see that the username is user one and the role is admin. Well, we have access to dashboard. That's good. Let's test everything. The first thing is this user page. We have access to it. That's good. Also, we have access to manager because we're admin. Also, this time we have access to admin page. And let's test the owner page. Well, we don't have access to owner because owner is in a top level of our website and even the admin cannot access the owner page. That's good. Next, let's test my logs. So on the my logs, this my logs uh, belongs to all users. So here you can see that all of the logs of this user, which is user one, for example, it's the date. And this is description, new login, new token generated, new login, send message, user role updated, and others. And if I refresh my page here, you can see that I have a new uh, log here a few seconds ago. I issued a new token for my user, and this is it. But this time, if I check all logs, you can see that we have access to all logs of our system. Why? Because as an admin or as an owner, we have access to all logs of our system, and this is the business logic. I want. So this is up to you to implement every access you want based on the role of your users. So here I said that the user with role of admin can have access to all logs. You can see that we can see logs of all users. For example, user one has new token generated, user one new login, user two send message, user two new login, user six send message, user six new token generated with the date and time and all logs of our system are accessible here by an admin. That's so good, let's continue. After this, let's test all message. Well, as an admin, we have access to all message of our system, and you can see that uh, this is, for example, from user two to the Mahmoud, but we can see it. Why? Because we are admin and we can see all message of our system. That's good. Next, let's test the inbox. Well, here is the inbox of this user, which is user one. So user one is either a sender or a receiver in all of this message that's good now let's go to send message here we can send message to others send hi send yes you can see that now i have the log of it and if i go to the all message it must be also here that's good then let's go to user management and this time you can see that we have access to user management because the owner and the admin can have access to our main page so what is here in user management? Here on the top, we can have some cards to show all the roles of our system. For example, we have one owner, one admin, one manager, and eight users for now. Here we can have a chart of these uh, numbers here. For example, you can see that this is 
owner and this is admin and manager and users and here we can see some latest users you can show one or two or three or five or any count of the latest user you want for example the latest user is here if we let me show you that if i log out and if i try to register for example the first name is john do junior the username is johnny and for the email we use johnny at mail.com and for password i simply copy the username and paste it three times for the address i say la8 and this is just a test let's register after register we will be redirected automatically to the slash login now let's log in using this user and paste johnny and its password which was johnny login well now you can see that i have a new username of johnny and a role of user so the default role of user is user in this system and now you can see that if i go to the my logs you can see that a few seconds ago register to website and a few seconds ago i have a new login now let's log out and what was the admin the admin was user one so let's log in again using this to have access to the uh, user management well let's go to user management and here you can see that in the latest user in the top i have johnny with his name and his last name and the time of creation was a few seconds ago that's so good now you can see that i have nine users one manager one admin and one owner let's continue so after this we have a table to show all the users of our system and the roles and we have the operation of updating role this part is really important so um, based on the requirement of this project i want my admin to be able to change the role of the users and the manager so if the user is an admin for example you can see that i'm logged in as a user one and i am admin so i can change the users and the manager's roles for example this johnny is a user so i am able to update his role let's click on the update role and we will be here on the slash dashboard slash update role slash username which is johnny and here we can see that the username is johnny and the current role is user i want to change his role you can see that i can choose manager or user for example for now he is user let's change it to manager and update after successful redirect we will be here you can see that no i have two managers and eight users and here you can see that no johnny is a manager let's change another one for example for user 9 let's update his role to manager update well you can see that no i have three managers and seven users that's so good and here you can see it can we change them again to user well yes we can change them to user update no he is user again so this is the access of admin but an admin cannot change the other admins and the owner update uh, role you can see that the update role button here is disabled because this user is admin and this user is owner so we saw the access of admin now let's test the final role which is owner so let's see who is owner for example this username is owner let's use it and by the way here you can see that uh, i have the username i have the first name and the last name of this user but this is just a test so let's log out and let's log in again with the username of my owner which is Mamad. so here you can see that this is the Mamad and he has the access of owner so he has full access and here he has access to dashboard let's test the user page yeah we have access manager page good admin page yes and also owner page where well, we have access to everything so let's test my logs this is my logs which is based on the user which is Mamad. all logs is here available we can see all logs of our system because as an owner we have this access the next one is all message we have access the next is inbox here yeah, we can see that and also we have send message can we send a message to this user send yes we send this this text to this user too and also let's go to user management again we have access but this time you can see the this is the same dashboard but this time the access is different let me show you this time we can change the admin roles and also let me show you again for example for the johnny here i can also make him admin but admin cannot change another one to admin but because i'm an owner i can make admins 
and this is really important to manage the admins of your website so if i choose admin and I update you can see that now i have two admins two managers and seven users let's make this one an admin update and again this one an admin update you can see that now we have one owner four admins two managers and five users so this is how our system works in fact the main control will be implemented by our admins but we want a role to be able to control our admins so for that uh, a specific role which is owner we will implement it by hard coding the role of our owner in database and you will see that on the implementation of our backend project that how we can set the role of a user to owner but when we have an owner we can change the admins and we can create admins and then everything is fine so this is it and you can see that it is really a good and a really useful project so let me show you the swagger of the back end so this is the swagger of our back end project and you can see that we have auth controller logs controller message controller and test controller we use all of the auth logs and message in the front end project and this test is just for testing access to a controller of a web api by using the tokens you will see that this is really easy and you will see that how we can use it on the backend project i will show you that later but this is the backend of our project and if i click on the users you can see that this is the list of the users of our website and also if i click here on the usernames try it you can see that we are receiving the list of all usernames of our project we will use this for sending messages so this is a quick demo of our a full stack project here and we will implement it so are you ready to code let's go